Hello and welcome to a new vlog. In today's episode I'm going to show you how I make my own uh, bench cables and uh, I'm going to be using uh, these uh, 4mm banana jacks, these uh, big alligator or slash crocodile clips, also these uh, smaller clips in different colors, I also have these uh, smaller alligator clips and uh, these, uh, I don't know how to call them, medium-sized alligator clips and a bunch of uh, silicone cables that I've shown in previous In The Mail episodes uh, I also got these, um, these ones that I made earlier but I really hate these, uh, these clips they don't really uh, work so well so I think I'm going to repurpose them and uh, reuse the cable as far as tools being used in this project, uh, I'm going to need the side cutter, a wire stripper and of course a soldering iron because I want to ensure I have a strong and reliable connection with uh, the cable. First I'm going to start with uh, these two cables, red and black. These are uh, AWG20 200 degrees C rated silicone wires. That means uh, I can pass quite a lot of current through this uh, wire and the increase in temperature won't be a problem for this kind of silicon wire. And the configuration for this cable I want to have uh, on one end 4mm banana jacks and uh, on the other end a pair of these uh, medium sized alligator clips. So let's get started. I'm, I'm going to start by stripping away some of the insulation. Next I'm going to thin these wires using some solder wire just to get a stronger connection with the uh, banana jack. Now all I have to do is uh, insert the wire and tighten the securing screw. Now I have a very good and reliable connection with the banana jack. Now I'm going to do the same with the other. If you would like you can also solder directly to the uh, banana jack but I don't think it's really necessary. This securing screw really helps for making a good connection. The next thing to do is to insert these uh, silicone protective covers. Okay, so this end is ready. Now let's work on the alligator clips. First you're going to have to remove their silicone covers and you can do that by hooking the alligator clip to something and then it's easier to pull on the cover. So right now what you want to do is first insert the silicone covers on the wire you have to make sure you do that with the right color. Now I'm also going to thin these wires. I always like to solder the wires to the alligator clips. I don't like uh, relying just on the mechanical connection. I'm going to add a bit of solder right on the alligator clip. So now it will be very easy to go in there and just solder the wires. Next step is to crimp these uh, metal ends to ensure good mechanical connection. Now 
This way, it doesn't matter if you put stress on the actual cable, it will not pull on the electrical connection because these uh, metal retaining clips will ensure mechanical stability. Now all I have to do is uh, slip the silicone covers back on. I don't really like this uh, silicone cover, kind of uh, it's a bit too loose for this alligator clip and it slips around but it should uh, do the job and work just fine. And it's done. We have a one meter long pair of uh, bench leads which can be used for example on your power supply. You connect the banana jacks to your power supply and then you have the alligator clips to power your project or anything. Next I'm going to do the exact same thing using uh, these two clips. These two red and blue wire also one meter in length and uh, the AWG rating for this one is 24 AWG and on the other end a pair of uh, 4 mm banana jacks. So I'm going to start exactly the same way by uh, stripping some wire, by stripping the wire insulation. By the way this is a very nice uh, wire cutter and stripping tool, I really like it and I use it a lot. Alright, this end is ready. Let's see how we can attach these clips. It seems like we can solder right on this uh, metallic piece. Now as you can see we have this small notch on the cap and inside you have the matching piece which you need to align to close this cap. Yep, everything works great. And we have another pair of cables done. 4mm banana jacks on one end and these uh, easy to clip on hooks on the other end. For the next cable I'm going to use this uh, thick 16 AWG wire. This should make a really nice power supply or dummy load cable because it will be able to carry a lot of current. I need to adjust my stripping tool because this cable has a much thicker insulation. As you can see lots and lots of very fine strands in there giving it a high current carrying capability. Now let me just check because I'm afraid that if I'm going to add solder I will not be able to insert this cable. Uh, no, I think there is enough space to clear even with some solder added. Now these uh, bigger alligator clips are intended to be used with uh, 4mm banana jacks plugged onto their back but uh, I don't want to waste another set of banana jacks so I'm just going to solder the wire directly to the metal part of the alligator clip and for that first I'm going to add some solder also I don't have a red alligator clip so I'm going to use the blue one for the positive and I'm going to paint it uh, red later and I'm going to use the blue wire as the negative and connect it to the black alligator clip. I think I got a very good connection. Now let's see if I can uh, slip this very small piece of uh, heat shrink tube right over the outer metal jacket just to get some uh, perfect insulation on this end of the alligator clip. So this is the result a pair of uh, 16 AWG cables with uh, 4 mm banana jacks on one side and these uh, nice alligator clips on the other side. Using the methods described earlier I made myself these cables right here I have uh, uh, 
banana jacks to alligator clips and I can make this one uh, alligator clip to alligator clip because uh, I have these clips that have the uh, four millimeter inputs so I can just connect them like this I also have uh, these ones which are uh, four millimeter jacks to uh, J, J clips four millimeter jacks to alligator clips uh, J clips four millimeter jacks and uh, these uh, smaller ones which are just uh, alligator to alligator clips I haven't used all the silicone wire I have I still have some left but I'm missing more of these uh, four millimeter banana jacks and as soon as I get more of these uh, connectors I will uh, use the rest of the wire and make myself uh, some more cables I hope you enjoyed watching this video as usual, I will post uh, links to the products used in the description below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. See you next time.